Hey everyone, it's Sandy and I'm going to do a layout that um, I put a lot of different elements on it and I like the way it came out. Um, it's just something different. So I'm using that picture that of Isabel that we took back in, uh, I think 2011 when we went to Arizona and uh, I always liked that picture of her and I had it set aside to make a layout. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm using the Heidi Swap, one of her older lines, some kind of trap. I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry. But anyways, and I just framed it with that. And now I put some clear gesso on and I'm just rubbing it with the Target credit card or gift card, whatever that is. And I had bought some Dina Wakely paints and I've only used a, one of them once. And so now I'm just putting a few of them on here and I'm gonna put it over that clear gesso and kind of see how it comes out. The first color that I put on, I think it was, I'm sorry, I don't even remember the name of it. But it was really dark. I thought it was going to be a lighter brown. And then I put an orange and an aqua. I don't know the actual names of them. I don't have them right near me. But anyway, so I was putting them on. And I ended up spraying them with water also. So I could move them around easier on the layout. And um, I was trying to get like some, some of these colors. Because of, you know, we were in Sedona at the time and you know it's got the really pretty red rocks and stuff and I like Isabel's little outfit that she has on and I was trying to match up the colors to that so that's what I'm doing now and I really like playing with those paints they were fun to uh, play with I've had them for over a, a month but I haven't even used them and now I've got this stamp and I'm gonna stamp it in three spots where I'm gonna put my um, pitcher and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out my water brush pins, the Tim Holtz or the Ranger ones. And what's in there is the delusion sprays. And I got that idea off of the Ranger channel. That girl's, that lady, is it Dylan Reevesley or whatever her, I can't think of her name is, the one who does delusions. Anyway, she shows you how you can do that and you can paint with them and stuff. And I really like the way they came out. So I was just trying to add some more color to my layout. And now I have one of these uh, stamps, these delusion stamps, and I like that flower right there. And I've used it in my art journal. So I thought I would go ahead and use it on the top and bottom of this layout as well. So I'm just using the archivers black ink to ink it on and I'm going to color it again with those water brush pens. And I like the way this came out except for one of the pens has pomegranate I think in it and it's too, I thought it would be a little bit more red and it's more purple and that's the only color I wish I didn't use. I used it more, I think in the bottom one, I'm not sure but in one of them. I, I just wish it was a lighter color and not so much like purple anyways and now I've gotten this uh, Prima stencil and I got my gold uh, molding cream and I'm just gonna put it in several places around the layout I really like that stencil a lot and it reminds me of like how it's so hot in Arizona and you know the, it's all cracked and stuff so now I want to use the stamp that I have from unity and I have this canvas that came in a layout or a card kit I'm not sure where it came from but anyways I sprayed it with water first and now I got some of my Heidi Swap and a Studio Calico color out and I just spray them I'm trying to get those colors that I have like kind of like um a clay color I guess with like some greens and stuff in it so uh, I was drying it with my heat gun and just added a few more sprays to it and that other one that I have on the side is just an extra piece I had cut and I was going to go ahead and give it some color as well while I had it out so I'm just drying it here and because I know I want to stamp on it so I'm trying to get it as dry as I can. Okay so now it's dry and I'm going to go ahead and get my stamp out and this is a unity stamp that I bought and um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it because I want to put a picture of the face and the sentiment. So I'm going to do the sentiment first. And when I stamp it, it came out okay except for um, a little bit on the left of it was a little bit light. So what I did is I just got my pen and I went over it really quickly where it was really light. And now I got the girl face stamp and I'm going to go ahead and put that on there as well. And then I believe I will show you a close up. I'm not quite sure. I think I add it to the layout right away. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to add it to the layout and then um, I'll bring the camera down and I'll show you a close up of that. 
I really like the way that piece came out. So there we go. It says, you are more beautiful than you can ever imagine. I just love the face stamp on it too. It's so pretty. Um, so now I'm just going to show you a few little close-ups of different areas. See that purple right there? That's the one I really don't like on it. There's Isabel. She's so cute. And yeah, so I really like the way the layout came. Something different. And um, yeah, so anyways, hope you enjoyed the, watching the process. Talk to you later. Bye.